More local news now. A Milwaukee man charged today with the killing of a six-year-old boy. Justin Evans died in July. The criminal complaint filed today reveals the bullet that hit the boy was not intended for him. Ben Jordan is live with the story. Ben. George and Carol, court records show that man is now in custody because one key witness came forward. This pile of stuffed animals has seen better days. They started stacking up around this tree three months ago in remembrance of Justin Evans Jr. The six-year-old was shot and killed back in July. This happened a half a block away from my house and my grandson is the one, the innocent person that ended up getting caught with a bullet. Cindy Kloss is Evans Jr.'s grandmother. She's been waiting a whole season for this day to come. State of Wisconsin versus Robert Anderson Jr. Seeing her grandson's alleged killer provides Kloss with a small piece of justice. The justice I want is this man to be tortured every day he breathes, like I'm being tortured every day I breathe, not seeing my grandson. Court records list one witness who recalls Robert Anderson Jr. firing several rounds at a vehicle that was doing donuts in a north side neighborhood. A stray bullet struck Evans Jr. in the heart. Getting ready to go fishing, he was going in there to say bye to his mom. Evans Jr. was taken to the hospital where he died. Before police arrived, the witness claims Anderson Jr. took off in a car with two other men. We acknowledge the, the serious nature of, of that offense, um, and Mr. Anderson looks forward to addressing that in court. He ain't got feelings. He's not a human, because why would it take you three months to get caught when you could have been a man and turned yourself in when he's seen on TV what he had done to an innocent child? Anderson Jr.'s bond has been set at more than $250,000. He's due back in court here later this month. Live at the Milwaukee County Courthouse, Ben Jordan, today's TMJ4. A heartbreaking case. Ben, thank you very much.